Today is August 26, 2019, and we're on the ground at Fullerton Airport in Southern California, that's Kilo Fox Uniform Lima, in our Piper Cherokee. And today we're going to be doing a very intense VFR workout. I'll show you here on Sky Vector what we're planning on doing today. So as I said, we're starting out right here in Fullerton Airport, and we're going to take off and we're going to fly west. And we're going to fly to this VFR reporting point at Interchange, which is Victor Papa Lima Fox X-Ray. And then we're going to head southbound after getting clearance for a touch and go here at Long Beach. Following our touch and go, we're going to head westbound over to Torrance and request clearance for touch and go Torrance, followed by north departure. And we're going to proceed to this VFR reporting point at Park Lawn and 405 Freeway, which is Victor Papa Lima Sierra Romeo. And while on our way to that waypoint, we're going to contact Hawthorne Tower and request transition across LAX via the mini route. And we're going to go over here on this chart. By the way, the chart we're on is the Los Angeles TAC chart. So we're going to go over here to the supplement where it depicts the route that we're planning on taking across LAX. This is called the mini route and we're heading south to north. So the mini route northbound is depicted right here. So during normal tower operating hours, which is right now, contact Northrop Hawthorne Tower 1 to 1.1, and they will coordinate the transition through the mini route. And most likely then they'll hand us over to LAX Tower here at 119.8. And that's how we're gonna transition through the Class Bravo, which at that point right here, this narrow corridor is from the surface to 10,000 feet. Going back over here. Then we're going to head northbound. We're going to get clearance to transition the Santa Monica class of Delta right here. And we're going to do a touch and go here at Van Noyce after getting our clearance there, followed by departure to the northeast, and then a touch and go here at Whiteman. And after the touch and go there, we're going to fly down to Burbank and do a full stop landing. Fullerton Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo, holding short runway 24. Number 7428 Romeo, Fullerton Tower, proceed on course, runway 24, clear for takeoff. On course, clear for takeoff, runway 24, 28 Romeo.
Yankee, step forward to Romeo, request early frequency change if possible. To Romeo, frequency change approved, squawk mode, Charlie. Frequency change approved, to Romeo. And there's 2,000. Pull it down to cruise and trim for that. switch over to Long Beach Tower and we want to listen to their ATIS Long Beach Airport ATIS Information Delta 2053 Zulu Wind 160 at 6 Visibility 10 Sky Condition Clear Temperature 31 Dew Point 10 Altimeter 29084 Arriving and departing runways 26 left, 26 right, 30. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information Delta. Okay, so Delta is current. Long Beach Air. Romeo is type Piper Cherokee level at 2000 over the interchange VFR reporting point uh, requesting touch and go followed by departure to the west. Tower 742 Romeo Long Beach Tower Roger proceed straight in runway 26 right clear touch and go. Straight in runway 26 right clear touch and go 28 Romeo. frequencies to torrents and then the next thing we're going to do is ATIS at van noise 12755 
Dorrance Zambrini Airport. 8 is information Foxtrot. Mile final runway 26 right. Hundred. Yeah, Romeo, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved for 2A Romeo. Okay. So, 133075. Visual approach and use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. 
Advise on initial contact. You have information, Foxtrot. And Foxtrot is current. Torrance Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is five miles to the east with information Foxtrot uh, inbound for touch and go followed by departure to the north. Remember 748 Romeo, Torrance Tower, enter right base runway 29 right. Right base for 29 right, 7428 Romeo. Cherokee 7428 Romeo is on right base for runway 29 or right. Number 7428 Romeo, Torrance Tower, runway 29 or right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 29 or right. 7428 Romeo. Romeo, correction, runway 29 right, clear touch and go, and then uh, say again your direction of flight. We'd like to depart to the north, 28 Romeo. Tay Romeo, roger, right crosswind departure approved. Right crosswind departure approved, 28 Romeo. Camarillo, ground, PBM 9. One zero five one mic. Pick up my IFR plan to Las Vegas Information Hotel. TBM one zero five mic. Camarillo ground clear to the Las Vegas airport. After departure, fly heading two seven five. Expect radar records film more and then as filed. Maintain uh, four thousand. And expect level 2705 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.7, squawk 6462. On departure, fly heading 275, radar vector to few more, then as filed. Maintain 4000, expect uh, 27000. Uh, one one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two four point seven. Squawk six four six two. One zero five mic. One zero five one mic. Back correct. Torrance ground Skyhawk seven three seven Alpha Zulu. Seven three seven Alpha Zulu Torrance ground. Seven three seven Alpha Zulu Cessna one seventy two slant Gulf at southeast parking request northeast departure for the northbound mini route and uh, ready to taxi with Foxtrot. There's seven three seven Alpha Zulu Torrance Ground runway two nine right taxi via Alpha Juliet. Alpha Juliet two nine right seven three seven Alpha Zulu. Off, flaps retracted full power and off the ground. All right, somebody's probably trying to call for a radio check. You're very quiet and unreadable. So now we're 
to climb up to 2,500. Tons ground, send 37 Alpha Zulu, request cap Hammer 10 also. Hammer 2 to Hawthorne Tower, 7 Alpha Zulu, rider. Turkey 7 4 Romeo, request frequency change. change, bro. Frequency change, approved to Romeo. Okay, so now we're going to head over to that VFR reporting point there at Hawthorne and 405 Freeway. I'm going to climb to 2,500 for the mini route transition. Hawthorne Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is out of 2,000, climbing 2,500, type Piper Cherokee. Uh, looks like we're about six miles south and requesting mini route northbound. 7428 Romeo, Hawthorne Tower, Port Hawthorne, 405 Freeway at PFR 5, correction 2,500. Main outside class by where space to advise squawk 0261. on 405 freeway at 2500 squawk 0261 remain clear of bravo uh, until advised to a romeo arts tower skyhawk 737 alpha zulu holding short runway 29 or right request early contact with hawthorne tower for northbound mini route 737 alpha zulu Right crosswind departure approved, turn with 29 right, clear for takeoff, remain this frequency. Right crosswind takeoff, uh, departure approved, Denation remain on this frequency, clear for takeoff, 737 Alpha Zulu. Cherokee 7428 Romeo reporting uh, Hawthorne and 405 Freeway 2500. Number 28 Romeo, contact Los Angeles Tower 119.8. LA Tower 119.8 to Romeo. Okay, Hawthorne Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo is four miles southeast on mini route northbound 2500. 7-4-2, Romeo, Los Angeles Tower, on net. Two, Romeo, radar contact, clear to the class, Bravo airspace, via the mini route, maintain VFR at 2,500 while inside the Bravo, Los Angeles altimeters, 2985, report overhead. Maintain VFR, 2,500, and report overhead for 2 Romeo. Santa Monica Tower, 120.1.
7 Alpha Zulu, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, 7 Alpha Zulu. Disconnected. Not sure why that happened. I don't know why it just disconnected me. Simulate ATC because I can't get back on with Pilot Edge. But we're right over LAX on the mini route northbound. Now, here in, a few, in about a minute, I would normally be clear out of the Bravo airspace, squawk VFR, and then I'll be able to contact Santa Monica. Or fly above them. At 2,700. Which I'll do that instead. We're not in the Delta yet. There's 2,700. No, so we're above them. No need to contact them for the transition here. Again, 2,700. Surface to 2,700. We're above their airspace right now. I'll try to connect again with Pilot Edge. Connected to Pilot Edge. Hawthorne. Our Skyhawk 737 Alpha Zulu over Hawthorne 405 freeway. 737 Alpha Zulu, Peck Los Angeles Tower, 119.8. 119.8. 7 Alpha Zulu. Two at Romeo. Two at Romeo is with you. Got disconnected inadvertently there. Back on. Two at Romeo, Roger. Clear class, Bravo Air Space, Radar Service Terminated, Squawk BFR. Squawk BFR, Radar Service is Terminated, 2 at Romeo. Camera Reno ground, QEM 105 Mike. Eastern ramp, parking, ready to taxi. 1105 1 Mike, camera ground, runway 26, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. Runway 26, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. Okay. Oh, Mike. Now over to Ben. Los Angeles Tower, Skyhawk 737 Alpha Zulu. 7 Alpha Zulu, Los Angeles Tower, say altitude and ident. Ability 10. Sky altitude condition. Altitude is 2500. Temperature 34. Dew point one two, altimeter two nine or eight four, arriving and departing runways one six left, one six right, visual approaches in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact you have information off. Golf is current. Then nice airport. Eight to information golf, two zero five one Zulu. Okay. Seven Alpha Zulu, radar contact, clear to the class by airspace via the mini route northbound, maintain VFR 2500 while inside the Bravo airspace, Los Angeles altimeter 2985, report overhead. Clear to Bravo 2500, report overhead, Skyhawk 737 Alpha Zulu. Okay, so we're still above the Santa Monica. San Los Grand November 277 Sierra Delta. Tango at the East Hangars Information Delta for VFR taxi. Two seven seven zero Tango, San Luis Ground Runway two nine or taxi via Alpha. Two nine via Alpha two seven seven zero Tango. Alamar Ground November one six from eight Delta Cirrus um, VFR one taxi nine, with three. Delta. November one six Romeo Delta Palomar Ground Runway two four taxi via November Verifier aircraft type City Cirrus. Cirrus SR twenty two six Romeo Delta. Runner. And what was the taxi via? I'm at. Uh, I'm on the northwest side of the airport. Runway Delta affirmative. Runway two four taxi via November. Two four via November. Los Angeles Tower seven three seven Alpha Zulu overhead. Seven three seven Alpha Zulu router.
San Luis Tower, November 277 Sierra Tango holding short, runway 290. 277 Sierra Tango, San Luis Tower, say direction of flight. Uh, departure to the southwest. 277 Sierra Tango left. Uh, downwind departure approved, runway 290, clear for takeoff. Left downwind departure, runway 290, clear for takeoff, 277 Sierra Tango. 737 out, Zulu, leaving Boss Bravo airspace. Radar service terminated, contact San Monica Tower, 120.1. 120.1, 737 Alpha Zulu. Okay, Ben Noise Tower confirming 119. Santa Monica Tower, Skyhawk 737 Alpha Zulu. 119 or 3. 737 Alpha Zulu, Santa Monica Tower. 737 Alpha Zulu is at 2500, 3 miles to the south, request transition to Van Nuys. So an Alpha Zulu transition approved, Santa Monica Alpha Zulu, 2984. Transition approved, 737 Alpha Zulu. Cherokee 7428 Romeo, this time Piper Cherokee, six miles to the south, requesting touch and go, followed by northeast departure. 7428 Romeo Van Nuys, target afternoon, enter a left downwind, runway 16 left, report midfield. Left downwind for 16 left, report midfield, 28 Romeo. See what we're going to do here. We're going to come in on a left downwind for 16 and report midfield. Palomar Tower, 16 from a Delta, is ready to depart 24. Uh, request VFR departure to the west. So we're going to want to descend to 1800 pattern altitude. 16 from a Delta, Palomar Tower, straight up departure approved on my 24 clear for takeoff. Wind 2409. Landing light on, fuel pump on. Clear for takeoff. Thanks, Sean. It's <laughs> good to hear you. 16 from a Delta. Early today, Brad. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I need to talk to you too about uh, X Plane. I've been using X Plane. Roger. Message me on Discord. Roger. And we're going to level off at pattern altitude 1800. Noise Tower, Cherokee 7428, Romeo is midfield, left downwind for runway 16, left. Number 28, Romeo, Roger, runway 16, left, cleared for the option, a right downwind departure is approved. Clear for the option, 16, left, 28, Romeo. Let's confirm a right downwind departure on the go. Right downwind departure, 28, Romeo, thanks. And 
there's the numbers. 1500 on the RPMs. First notch flaps. And there's the 45 turning left base. Santa Monica Tower, Sky Hawks 37 Alpha Zula has Van Eyes in sight. And second notch. Flowing down to 90. 737 Alpha Zula, Roger. Frequency change approved. You can actually make that frequency change on your own once you clear that Delta airspace. And turning final. Very good, thank you. Frequency change approved. Tower TVM 105 Micro Shuttle on runway 26 at Alpha. 1051 Mike Camry Tower on my 26 clear for takeoff. Runway 26 clear to take off. 105 Mike. Van Nuys Tower, Skyhawk 737 Alpha Zulu. 737 Alpha Zulu, Van Nuys Tower. 737 Alpha Zulu is uh, five miles to the southwest at uh, 2500. Request full stop landing with 737 Alpha Zulu. Roger, enter right down or my 16 right report midfield. Right downwind report midfield for 16 737 Alpha Zulu. And if you could not cold call on every frequency, it would be greatly appreciated. Initial call on clearance delivery is fine, but every frequency you tune to, you don't need to cold call. You can just go ahead and spit the whole request right out. Very good, thank you. Unless the frequency is obviously super congested and I'm talking 100 words a second or something like that, then it's, it's understandable. And I'm going to level off at 2,500. Tower Cherokee 742 Romeo may request early frequency change. Number 28 Romeo, Roger, frequency change is approved. Frequency change approved here, Romeo, thanks.
Please listen to Whiteman ATIS 132.1. Clear. Temperature 3.3. Dew point 1.3. Altimeter 2.9087. Arriving runway 1.2. Departing runways 1.2. Three zero. Visual approaches no now. IFR departures expect runway three zero. Read back Clear all down. runway assignments right. and hold Center short instructions. Advise on the initial contact that you have information hotel. One zero five on my point. We got a departure radar contact. Climb on maintain eight thousand. Whiteman Tower, Cherokee seven four two eight Romeo, six miles west with hotel. Uh, level at two thousand five hundred and requesting touch and go, followed by departure to the south, direct Burbank. 7428 Romeo Whiteman Tower, Roger. Right base runway 12, report two miles from the airport. Right base runway 12, report two miles from the airport to Romeo. May I just confirm you plan uh, landing Burbank once you do the touch and go Whiteman? That's affirmative. Thank you. 28 Romeo. Roger. One zero five. will Mike turn right heading 050. So we need our Burbank Tower and ATIS 134.5. One three four five is set. Ski. Sound like information whiskey. Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport. ATIS information whiskey. 2153 Zulu. Wind 160 at Niner. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 33. Dew point 14. Altimeter 2982. Arriving and departing runways 815. Visual approaches in use. Land and hold short operations in effect for non turbojet aircraft landing runway 15. 4,250 feet available. VFR departures contact. IFR departures. 3-0. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information hotel. All right. Revival Mike, could direct Fillmore, resume on navigation. All right, landing lane is Five, Mike, Mike LA Center, 133.2. Carpet on, mixture set to full rich. And we're 3.8 miles. Hundred. One zero five on Mike LA Center. Climb and maintain flight level two seven zero. For seven Alpha Zulu taxi to the ramp via Alpha. Remain this frequency. Taxi via Alpha. Remain on this frequency. Seven Alpha Zulu. For two eight Romeo. I see there now. No need to report. Romeo one two right cleared for the option. Straight out approved. Runway 12 right, clear for the option, straight out approved, 28 Romeo. And 2.6 miles.
Report final runway 12. And hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information whiskey. Burbank Glendale Pasadena Airport. 8 to information whiskey. Burbank Tower, good afternoon. Make straight in runway 15 and runway 15, clear to land, wind 160 at Niner. Straight in runway 15, clear to land, 28 Romeo. Crosswind going on here. Final flaps. Give it a left rudder and landings assured. Power back. Heavy left rudder. And keep that nose off and on the ground. And flaps retracted. Carpet off.
Burbank Tower, Cherokee 7428 room is clear the runway at Bravo 3, uh, parking straight ahead. Number 2 Romeo, Roger, you can take Bravo straight into the ramp this frequency, we'll see you Straight into the ramp this frequency, we'll see you later, 28 Romeo, thanks. Okay, I'm going to park over here next to this King Air, and we'll do a debrief. Get rid of that for now. Okay, let's shut it down, do a quick debrief. We'll talk about what went well, what didn't go so well. All right, so radios, transponder, avionics master off, and carpet in, all switches off, strobe off, master switch off, and idle cutoff. Ignition switch off. All right, let's bring up for flight and take a look at our entire flight path. So again, we're gonna be looking at the, the green line there. Okay, starting at Fullerton. Seemed like it went pretty smoothly there. Uh, let's go ahead and put this parking brake on. Pretty straightforward, uh, straight out, west departure was approved. I did ask for, tried to ask for early frequency change each and every time. Uh, I believe I asked for it each and every time. The obvious reason is that the frequency change is necessary quite soon after takeoff. So here we were cleared into Long Beach. Uh, I think it was straight in. I'm trying to go by memory or, or possibly right base. And that looks like we were at 26 right. And then we were cleared for a west departure which we did. I requested early frequency change, I believe, uh, before we entered Torrance airspace, which is depicted right here from ground to 2,400. We got that clearance from Torrance for straight in, as I recall, 29 right. Went straight in, landed, or touch and go, 29 right. We were cleared for north departure, contacted Hawthorne Tower, requesting the mini route northbound at 2,500. I think when I called in, I was at 2,000 something climbing. Yeah, I think I was at 2,000 climbing, 2,500. We were told to report at the Hawthorne 405 freeway. That's the Victor Papa Lima Sierra Romeo uh, reporting point at 2,500, which we did. Then Hawthorne Tower turned us over to, uh, to LAX. And I think it was 1191, if I remember right whatever it was, we, we tuned to that frequency. Contacted them when we were cleared through Bravo, 2,500. We were given a squawk code. We squawked that code. Uh, so we're 2,500 on the mini route. Before we cleared Bravo, for some reason, um, pilot edge cut off. I tried to reconnect unsuccessfully. Um, I thought I was gonna have to resume the flight by simulating ATC communications. Uh, what I did here, let's see, what did I do here? Yeah, as soon as I cleared, uh, a little battery warning, to plug in our charger here. As soon as uh, we cleared Class Bravo just before entering the um, Santa Monica airspace right here, this Class Delta, I went ahead and climbed up to 2,800, I believe it was, just above their airspace. So I flew above their airspace. Um, and then, let's see, trying to go by memory here. So yeah, okay. So then we request clearance uh, for van noise uh, for touch and go. We were giving a left uh, down, told to report left downwind for runway, what was it, one six left, which we did. And yep, 
yeah, this is where something went wrong right here. <laughs> And he didn't catch it. I did, but I was going to correct. And I thought, now so leave it alone. So then I did a left base. Again, the, the clearance was for 1-6 left, I believe. But I landed 1-6 right. Did a touch and go 1-6 right. So that that uh, was an error. I caught it. Didn't make the correction. And I was waiting for him to come on and, and say something. But he didn't. So we were cleared here, I think. I'll have to go back and listen. But in any case, we were given um, departure on right downwind. Uh, so we headed northbound, and then we contacted Whiteman Tower before we entered their airspace. I requested an early frequency change, contacted Whiteman Tower. I think we were given straight in for 1-2 there, and he told us to report two miles from the airport. He saw us and cleared us for the option or the touch and go, and he knew we were going Burbank. So that's a really quick touch and go off the ground and pretty much pattern altitude and straight into Burbank. So we were given a straight in for 1.5, as I recall. So lots of frequency changes, both for ATIS, lots of frequency changes for uh, tower. Um, so let's see, what did we do here? We did, let me get rid of this so I can see, hide that plate. Yep. Yeah, so that is a really tough VFR workout. And like I said at the beginning of this, I think the VFR flight in this kind of a congested area is far more difficult than than an IFR clearance because, again, ATC is holding your hand. They're telling you your frequency changes and when they want you to change. So you're constantly being handed off. You don't have to look at your charts to see what the frequencies are. You don't have to worry about the airspace. You're being cleared through all those airspace, whereas on this flight, we had to look at all the airspace and tune to all the frequencies. So um, again, that, that was a really good workout, something I should do uh, more frequently. A couple of times also I would point out, I, I wanted to maintain either it was 2000 or 2500 or whatever altitude I said I was gonna maintain, but in the course of changing frequencies, talking to air traffic control, I'm, I'm kind of plus or minus my, my target altitudes. I wasn't cleared to those altitudes, so it wasn't a really big deal, but uh, I like to hold altitude and heading as the, to the extent possible. Distractions can cause you to deviate somewhat from your goals. So that was it. Um, again, we let's see, we did, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Sky Vector up really quickly here. So there it was, so started at class Delta, that's one, touch and go, two, Touch and go three, transition class Bravo, touch and go four, touch and go five, and touch and go six. So that's six tower controlled airports in, I don't know, probably just a little bit over an hour. So uh, I appreciate you joining me on today's flight. I uh, hope it was, if not anything else, entertaining, if not informative. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.